Hello beautiful people. Today's recipe this world famous baba biryani copy from Kanpur. It's a dum biryani. It's packed with flavors and by far the best I've ever eaten. Let's start off by taking ginger, 4 inches of ginger, it's 40 grams. We'll grind everything to a smooth paste. Take 4 green chilies and 1 full head of garlic. Heat up your pan and add 1 tablespoon of cooking oil and 2 tablespoons of ghee. Now we'll add 2 large onions. They are sliced roughly. They are not thinly sliced. Now we'll saute the onions, we'll just make it soft and mushy. Add two bay leaves, eight cloves, three to four pieces of one inch cinnamon, two black cardamoms, ten green cardamoms, one star anise, break and add it. Now add half a mace. We've broken the base. Stir everything, saute it till it's soft. Now we'll add the ginger, garlic and green chili paste. Scrape everything and saute over high flame. Make sure you don't burn it. Now let's add 500 grams of mutton. Mix everything together nicely. Add salt, it's one and a half teaspoon. We'll be adding garam masala. If you're using ready-made garam masala, then add one teaspoon. And then add one teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of fennel powder, and one teaspoon of coriander powder. The recipe of my garam masala is in the description box. Now let's add milk and stir everything very nicely. It's one glass of milk. We are not going to use water in this. Make sure to follow the recipe very carefully, otherwise you'll mess up the whole biryani. Now, adjust the mutton pieces, cover and simmer for 30 minutes. Let's strain the water from the curd. You can use unsalted yogurt in place of this. Uncover and mix everything. Now, let's add three tablespoons of hung curd or unsweetened yogurt. Stir everything nicely. Cook it on a high flame. Now, to a pestle and mortar, add one fourth of nutmeg. Add four long peppers. These are called pipli. You cannot make biryani without this. Add three cloves, 10 green cardamom, a few pieces of mace, Pound everything together and make it into a coarse powder. We want to release all the fragrance. If you use the pestle and mortar, the fragrance and the flavors of spices will be released very nicely. We we'll reserve half the spices and we'll use it later on when we are layering. Now stir everything and check if the mutton is done 90%. To do that, just Pierce a knife through the mutton and if you are able to pierce it nicely, it means it's done. Now let's remove the bay leaves. The job is done. We are not going to use any red chili powder or turmeric powder or any kind of extra color to this. Now we'll cook till the oil and the spices separate. Here you are, you can see. Now we'll add some more milk. Adjust everything nicely, stir it. After that, we'll cover this and keep it aside. We'll use it later. Now, I'm taking 500 grams of basmati rice. I have washed it and soaked it for 15 minutes. Now take two liters of water in a pan, add two black cardamoms, three inches of cinnamon sticks, six cloves, eight green cardamoms, one star anise, break it and add it. Now we'll add ghee, it's one teaspoon of ghee.
add two bay leaves, five whole green chilies. Don't cut the green chilies, otherwise it will become very hot. Salt will be added after the water starts boiling. You don't add before that because it will take longer for the water to boil. I've used three tablespoons of salt. You do not want to add salt later on. Stir the water nicely. Now the water is boiling, lower the flame and add the rice. Be very careful while adding the rice right now. If you don't lower the flame, the water will splatter on you. Stir everything nicely and cook the rice on high flame for 8 to 10 minutes. The rice has to be cooked up to 80% only. To check if it's 80% done, you just have to break the rice. If it breaks in two, it means it's done. Immediately shut the flame off and then drain off the rice. Immediately after draining, we have to spread the rice on a large plate to avoid further cooking of the rice. Spread everything out evenly. And now let's start off by greasing the bottom of the pan with one tablespoon of ghee. Now we'll add half the mutton and spread it out evenly. By adding ghee, the mutton will not stick to the bottom of the pan. Now we'll add half the rice and spread that evenly. I've eaten biryani from all over the world and by far this one, the one I ate in Kanpur, was one of the bestest ever. Now sprinkle one teaspoon of garam masala. Add a few drops of orange color. Take a few strands of saffron and we'll mix it with lukewarm milk and we'll add half of it. Now add the remaining mutton and spread it evenly. Most of the recipes that I am putting up here have been taught to me by an old grandmother who used to live in Uttar Pradesh in India. Although she is no more, but her spirit lives on with me in my food. Now add the remaining rice and spread it evenly. This channel is a tribute to Batul Nani. Now add the reserved spices and sprinkle them evenly. Add a few drops of food color. Then add the remaining saffron. Now we'll add some generous amount of ghee. I'm adding two to three tablespoons of ghee here. Now cover and cook for five minutes on high flame and 15 minutes on very low flame. Hola, it's ready. I just wanted to tell you one more thing. If you are using a normal pan, please use a tawa or a girdle underneath when you are cooking. Now, let's mix everything. Be very careful while you are mixing because you may break the rice. Thumbs up if you like and please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll serve this biryani with raita, it's hung curd mixed with parsley, some onions and salt. Hope you liked this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. See you later for another exciting recipe.